Thanks, witness. Defense calls Sigmund Freud, Your Honor. <laughs> Name? Dr. Sigmund Schlomo Freud. <laughs> Dr. Freud, would it be accurate to say that you qualify as an expert in the field of modern psychiatry? Fraulein, I am modern psychiatry. <laughs> <laughs> Objection, Your Honor, the witness is boasting. Overruled. The boasting, Your Honor, really, it is distasteful, really. Sit down, I'll pay you me. I launched all the alien days, but let the record reflect the prosecution has grave reservations about this man's so-called standing <coughs> as a psychiatric witness. Uh, perhaps a quick jump to London for a leisurely perusal of his standard edition of his complete psychological works of Sigmund Freud, volumes 1 through 24, would set your mind at ease. <laughs> perhaps it would, if indeed you were... <laughs> Yes, I see. Of course, yes. Yes. You are, in fact, the founder of psychoanalysis, correct? I am. You maintained a private practice in neuropathology for nearly half a century, is that not so? It is. You were on the cover of Time magazine in an issue dedicated to the greatest scientific minds of the 20th century. Of course. Are you familiar with the case history of one Judas Iscariot? Most certainly. Dr. Freud, in your expert opinion, can a suicide victim be pre-certified as psychotic? Without question. Man's instinct for self-preservation is his most supple and reflexive muscle. When that muscle fails, it is because the mind has failed. The decision to take one's own life can only be precipitated by the failure of the mind. An irrational rebellion against man's most basic instinct to endure and live. Therefore, yes, the victim of suicide must be pre-certified as indeed psychotic. In your expert opinion, Dr. Freud, was Judas Iscariot a psychotic? Without question. And are psychotics responsible for their actions? No, they are not. For example, Say I have a bad bout of influenza. As a result of my bad influenza, I sneeze rudely, but involuntarily in your face. The next day you wake up with the same flu. Did I cause your flu? No. My flu caused your flu. I only sneezed because I was sick. Hmm? In your opinion, Dr. Freud, does Judas Iscariot belong in hell? No, he does not. Explain. Suicide is a direct sign of mental illness. But did he become mentally ill after allegedly betraying Jesus, or was he mentally ill to begin with? Pre-programmed, yes, I, you must understand. Normal people do not kill themselves, even under extreme duress. Hmm? And what would you say to people who would say that Judas brought upon his own mental illness by betraying Jesus and getting him crucified? I would say this. Number one, you cannot conjure or bring about mental illness. Number two, any god who punishes the mentally ill is not worth worshipping. And number three, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. <laughs> the person who could have prevented this tragedy was Jesus, not Judas. He chose not to. But is it Judas responsible because he did what he did of his own free will? Oh, Fraulein, Fraulein. I once had a suicidal patient leap through my fourth floor window to her death. She exercised her free will. Did I build her estate with a broken plate glass window she left through? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> My friend Winston Churchill, who provided me safe haven from the Nazis in 1938, likes to say, the price of greatness is responsibility. I believe firmly in taking responsibility. So, after the unfortunate woman's death, I took responsibility for my greatness by moving my offices to the ground floor. <laughs> I should think God would have done the same. Your witness. Uh, Dr. Freud, uh, sorry for the mix-up before. <laughs> so, uh, Herr Doctor, I must admit I'm a little uh, intimidated to be in the presence of such greatness. After all, you are a genius, correct? Correct. An expert. Yes. A big brain. Unequivocal.
Equivocally. Oh, equivocally, yes. So, such a nice word, and it rolls off your tongue so effortlessly. Really, I am impressed. Oh, <laughs> Doctor, we're a little tired, are we? Well, well perhaps a uh, kilo or two of fine green Bolivian flake will restore your pain. <laughs> Excuse me? Cocaine, Doctor. Blow, flake, rock. Cocaine and what can only be categorized as prodigiously massive quantities. Yes. As part of my research, yes. <laughs> research, and after 12 years of round the clock research, you came to the conclusion that ingesting staggering amounts of powder up your nose could be a little uh, unhealthy. I was trying to determine its medicinal value. Is that sort of your nose? <laughs> your mother. Denied you her breast, didn't she? <laughs> I'll thank you to let me ask the questions, Dr. Fry. Fry! <laughs> yes. I guess I made a you slip, didn't I? <laughs> anyway! Last question, Mr. Big Brain Genius Expert! You were an evolved idiot your entire life, correct? Correct! And then you die, and you found out what? I, I experienced anti-Semitism as a child. It prejudiced me against all religion. Einstein experienced prejudice, but he wasn't wrong like you, was he? My cousin, Wogar, I can't count to ten without brooding, but he wasn't wrong like you either, was he? Was he not God? Intelligence and faith are two different things! Well, I would have to say that you can have one without the other. But what do I know? I'm not a big brain genius expert like you. Am I not the Freud? I had a wonderful, vibrant mind, and my intellectual curiosity was boundless. Good day, doctor. Oh, blow your nose. Wait, this is excuse. <laughs> doctor Freud, do you say people commit suicide, yes or no? No! So they sometimes can be tempted to murder! Go murder an egg ball! Egg egg! Oh, yes. Hey, sweetness! Hey, sweetness! Oh! Great, handsome sir, prosecution now calls legendary Hawaiian singer and popular entertainer Don Ho to the stand. <laughs> Don Ho's not dead? Oh, thank God for that. In that case, the prosecution now calls Caiaphas the Elder, high priest of the Sanhedrin, to the stand. Right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, at this time I must excuse myself from these proceedings until such time as said witness has concluded testimony. Before his ascension into the lap of the Lord, Caiaphas Hill and I were partners in a successful chain of kosher pizza parlors in East Purgatory. <laughs> For that reason, at this time, I must step down. Bailiff, get your ass up there, put on those glasses, and adjudicate. Bravo! <laughs> Proceed! <laughs> oh, Fabiana, may I uh, borrow a pen? Only if I can shove it through your eye. <laughs> <laughs> what must I do to, to, to impress you? Even though you're always here and I am always here, still, I think of you when you're not here, even though you're always here. Next witness. Yes, please. I obey. <laughs> Later we shall discuss. 